welcome to my channel. Well, we have a couple of more Joker knives sent to us by Toby and family. So thank you once again, Toby and family. <clears throat> Joker knives, excuse me, is one of the brands that uh, Toby has introduced me to by sending me these knives. I'd looked, you know, I'd seen pictures of different knives and stuff. But until a lot of, sometimes with knives, a lot of times, unless you get one in hand, you really don't know. Uh, you know, unless someone's very good at pictures and descriptions and everything else, there's just some things that don't carry through. But anyways, I haven't looked at these. I don't know what, you know, these model numbers are over here. NE23. And then Boris has already said he likes this one. He, he doesn't know what it is, but he likes this one the best. It's the CM81. Now, later on, I'll have, um, I'll know after I do the video. I'll go in Amazon or whatever and find out the specifications on it. But for right now, let's open up the little one. And I'm using this great Mazarin. Italy knife. This is a sweet knife, man. Besides the olive wood, I've got an extra slicey. Just ask Harry. Just ask Harry. All right, so let's open up the little guy. Stop fiddling around. Oh, Boris wants me to open up, you know, the big knife first, but he's just going to have to wait. They don't like it too bad. All right. This is one of the ones I was looking at. Uh, it's it's like jo uh, Joker's version of an Apinel, except it's flat. I love a good spear point, but there we go. Oh, and I did find my Apinel. It was one of those knives that had been missing for a while. I found it. It had fallen down between some boxes and everything. was laying kind of like this. But anyways, I did find it. It's one of the missing knives. I asked it. I interrogated I said, do you know where Cracky is? Where you went on the breakout with Cracky? And it said it had no knowledge of Cracky. It doesn't know what I'm talking about. Oh, this is great. For me, the flat in here kind of feels better than the round. I mean, I could take it either way, but this just kind of like helps stabilize you and orient you, you know, with a completely round knife in your hand. Um, you might not know where the center of the blade is and everything. I don't know. But yeah, this is good. And these are perfectly functional. Now, this is something that in England you could modify, I think, to make it non-locking. But I don't know if it would violate the overall. Let's check the length. We'll have the specifications, but it feels pretty light, too. I want to weigh it. Yeah, it's over a three-inch blade. Probably. Might be right there on cutting edge. But no, no, it's over it. It's like three and an eighth. Three and an eighth. Overall. Anyways, we don't have to deal with that here. Tejas. Yeah, about eight centimeters. Yeah, let's give it a quick, uh, let's see. They usually come pretty sharp. Let me lock it. Don't want it to fold on me and kill me. It could use some stropping. It's got some, uh, it's usually what I do. Sorry. See where it. See where the paper catches? That's going to tell you where you got some dullness at. You can also look at the edge when it cuts, how cleanly it cuts and everything to get an idea. I like to do the full length of the knife edge. I do a pull down. And you can feel it kind of... I mean, it's, it's a working edge. I mean, you can tell it's sharp. But stropping it is going to make it a lot sharper. That's all I gotta say. All right, all right. What was its closed length? Because sometimes that's important. 
How much space does it take when it's closed up? A little over four inches. Four, well, about four inches. Right on there, or 10 centimeters, maybe a little over. <clears throat> All right, get out of the way here, here. You sit over there. And it comes with, the, you know, the little um, choker thing. I really like this box, man. It's just a really good sunrise or sunset. You're about to blast a deer. It's your mind, though. Made by hand. Yeah, I don't know why I got spaced off on that, but yeah, it comes with this little thing here. This piece is handmade in Spain with top quality materials. All right, well, let's use this guy to open up. Oh, yeah, we were gonna. Getting distracted here. All right, you sit over there. We're just gonna do your weigh in. We're gonna weigh you in. I wonder. People got things to do, places to be. How many ounces? 1.274 ounces. Let's change the mode. I don't think that's grams. Is it? 55 grams. 55.78 to be exact. All right. Turn yourself off right now. We'll set you here. We were starting with the mazarine with the olive wood. This looks like some um, beech or walnut would be my guess. Sometimes it can give you a hint with the model number, but it says E in E. If it said N O, it would be olive wood. So we know it's not olive wood, but it's got a nice grain to it, and it's a nice smooth feeling and sculptured. But this is pure Apanel to me. This is where pink. This reminds me Apanel. And it has that flat, thin, flat grain to it. All right. But that's another cool one. All right. This guy probably won't be able to weigh in on the scale. He feels like he's more than 200 grams. All right. We got a little box here. But yeah, this is a nice one. It's got this little jimping here. You got a little saber grain, sharp. Did I mention it was sharp? Cellophane, el plastico. Ooh, wow. Wow. That is nice. We got some G10 here. We got a nice leather sheath. <clears throat> I don't know what the blade style is, but I would say it's like a, a small, a small curved guy would be my guess. It could be a little chopper. We don't know. I think because it's going to come straight out, it's going to be a pointy one. Very nice. Um, you can use paracord through these to lash it down somewhere besides a very nice buckle back here. Ooh, it's got a snap on it. Very good. That is very nice. I don't mind threading them one in, but if it's got a snap, ooh, yeah. Chimping up here. G10. Red liners. Big old lanyard hole. Tell us what it is. Arizo. Now, a lot of times they name them after animals or something with Joker. So I'm going to have to look. I have no idea what that is. I would say desert rat. But I don't know. Well, this is nice. This is one of those that you can do some up close and personal carving stuff with, you know? You don't need like a huge, it just feels really good in the hand. All right, let's look at some more at this. I got to do the sniff test. Oh yeah, it's genuine, genuine leather. It passes. Now watch, they'll start making, besides synthetic um, materials, they'll, they'll make a synthetic smell 
that's like genuine leather and fool us that way. We're like, damn it. You'll have to do a burn test or something. Let me check this guy out here. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Yeah, this is going to be a little EDC guy. This puppy's going to be, uh, going to be getting some belt time. I'll tell you that right now. It slips in there. Flips over. A lot of times you gotta see how good I got him started. There we go. So yeah, it's gonna thumb break. There's no um, extra metal underneath here to reinforce it, you know, to make it easy to do that, but it still works. Pretty easy to break it out by thumb. Comes through, there's a possibility if you pull it out quick, you could start cutting this. So you just got to watch out for that. But in normal pulling out, it's not that sharp. It's not making contact. Let's check our length here. Yeah, this is a cool little knife here, man. It's like a little skinner. Just a little three-inch curvy guy. <clears throat> With a nice big, man, you can... You can definitely get your hand up there, do some damage. I mean, sorry, <laughs> I get distracted. I wanted to cut some of it. Oh, yeah. This is nice. Yeah, very, very nice. Get back here, measuring device. Yeah, we, besides three inches, we wanted to see what the overall length was. Six and a half. So yeah, this would be in like your uh, SE3 type of class of knife or something. I still don't know what the steel is. Oh, here it is. Bowler N695. That's some good steel there. From what I've read on N695, it's an improvement on 440C, but it's harder to sharpen. Um, so... It has more um, longer edge retention, but it's going to be a little bit harder to sharpen. But it's about around the same corrosion resistance as 440C. There. See if I can get it to zoom up on it. Bowler N695. Orizo TS1. Nice jimping up here. You got a flat grind. It's like a saber grind. I don't think that's hollow. But a nice edge here they've done on this. They did a good edge grind. And then you've got this really nice G10 with liners. We're in Zumo mode right now. But yeah, this is a sweet knife, man. Awesome. Thank you, Toby and family. Um, another awesome knife. Man. You got, of course, the Joker embossed there. So yeah, I'll have to put the weight down later. Ooh, look, it's got a little paracord, like, for you to lash this down. It came with it. I didn't notice that was in there. Very awesome. The um, the Joker. Let's see where the, is you can contact him here if you want to call him up. Say hey. Tell him you saw it on my channel. <laughs> I'm not sponsored by him or anything. I don't get anything from him. That'd be funny. CM-81. And here's, if you read barcode... That's what it interprets to. Uh, we'll see. I thought that was... Uh, it's like Japanese writing. Japanese writing is a little bit more descriptive than that. All right. So, yeah, this is a pretty cool knife. This is going to have to break in a little bit. A lot of times you have to do that with leather. Once it, once it figures out where it needs to be. But, yeah, this is awesome. I like that you can, you can bell clip it or you can paracord it 
It's a non-open position, but it's a small knife. And I believe in 695, I don't know a whole lot about that steel. I have to put a little Google research and blurb on there and let you know what that, what I can find out about it. But I know it's fairly decent steel. It's not just like, you know, El Cheapo steel. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. I have a new toy to play with. A couple of new toys to play with. And um, thank you for watching and have a nice day.